okay so in in this part i'm going to discuss about the design procedure for for the bridge so let's uh, discuss about the design how we can design this bridge first let's view our load combinations do we have some load combinations or not okay so the first step is that we have to make a load combination and yes these combinations could be made by uh, using astro lrft bridge design specifications and you can find these combinations uh, somewhere in the second or third chapter here yeah for example like for the for the strength one the dc is the dead load of the concrete and dw is for the asphalt you can find all these notations in in this chapter i'm not going to explain you about these notations and what are these forces because that is not the main uh, task today so yeah so here uh, dc dw and what else the, uh, yeah live load so live load 1.75 if you see this gamma p this gamma p is 1.25 for the concrete and 1.5 for the asphalt feeding surface so i just make one combination of uh, dc dw and this live load live load is basically hl93 live load which is uh, given in in the same astro so i just make a new com com1 and i add this like 1. Uh, 1.7 no it's 1.5 and dc that it's like 1.25 it is also dead and then hl93 1.75 it already had dynamic allowance in it so if you have any other loads for example uh, live load truck load truck load I, I i told you that you should consider hl93 because in that you have already included the truck tandem and the lane load but if you want to consider the truck load as a separate you have to define the lane load as a separate and then you can add them by multiplying with the dynamic allowance 1.33 and multiplying by 1.75 okay so uh, right now let's talk about only these three combinations these three loads and i make one com 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 one so the other forces like the earthquake forces and all those uh, big number of forces like here if we have like earthquake there is no earthquake in strength one limit straight you can define uh, all these load combinations in sap by one command which is in the load combinations if you go here add default design combos okay click here and then click bridge design and then strength load combination data here you can uh, include all the loads uh, all the load combinations and all the loads to uh, to, the, to the design for example here if you just want for the strength one just uncheck all others and if you want to apply all these design combinations for your bridge structure then you can keep all of them but uh, I'm not sure because uh, many of these combinations have uh, different types of loads like uh, here you have T U C R S H T G, and I mean centrifugal force etc. So there are so many forces which I have not defined. So that's why if I keep my design for all these forces, it may cause trouble or ask definitions later on. So yeah, you can you can check. Let's keep like strength one, strength two, and strength three for a moment, and we will see okay service one okay and then if you say okay so all these combinations will be generated by the by the SAP program itself okay now about the load definitions so in order to apply these loads like asphalt load or any kind of live load or if you want to apply any external load on your bridge structure for example if you want to apply any load on, on, the, on these line elements or on these piers uh, you can apply uh, in, in this module which is quite uh, simple like it is a spine model of your bridge uh, you can change but if you have the area loads like you if the, the asphalt load or uh, some kind of pressure some kind of soil pressure or any kind of area load you can move to update link bridge model and here you can check update 
as area object model and make it OK. So now your bridge object will be converted into an, into a form of area objects and here you can see different areas and you can select different areas uh, by clicking on that particular area and if you want to apply the asphalt load on the deck just select all these areas and then go to assign frame uh, no, sorry area loads and uniform shell and here just give the load for example aw the direction is gravity change the units to kilonewton meter and then uh, load pattern okay let me see because uh, let me change the units right from here kilonewton meter okay so go to assign area loads uniform shell and here I can give the loads like a W uh, and the value here like uh, okay let's calculate I explain how you can calculate this fault load if this fault thickness is 75 millimeter so in meters it will be 0 0.075 multiplied by the density of asphalt multi convert into kilonewton per square meter sorry yeah by 1000 and then if you calculate it becomes this one and this is the asphalt load kilonewton per square meter on your bridge make it okay you can see it here okay if you want to apply any other external load on your bridge like if you want to apply any lateral load on uh, lateral line load on these columns you can select all these columns you can go to assign frame frame uh, load sorry distribute it and here's the select for example you can define one more load combination like live ll or like sl any and you can keep into into the live and add new this load pattern make it okay and then here give the value like five kilonewton per meter and this load if you want to apply this load in the x direction this is the x and this is the y and the vertical is z okay i want to apply this in the positive y direction so just i will type plus five here and make it okay i think i applied in some other direction because i can cannot see okay i undo this one select these members again go to assign frame loads distribute it and here i should change the direction to y and five change the load to the live Okay, and you can see there is a live load here. The same way if you want to apply any vertical load, any horizontal load, for example, if you want to apply any load here in the in the X direction, maybe it could be the wind load due to some post or some signboard. So you can apply it here. Just select that joint, go to assign joint, and then joint loads forces and give the value here. You can define the load type but let's keep it in, in the live load to save the time and give the value here x if you give x it will be the positive x direction let's say 10 kilonewton and if you say minus 10 it will be in the minus x direction and then say okay and here you can see now the force is there and now we are ready to run the analysis and then we can go for the design but before that, uh, in this mode, if you run the analysis, it, your model will become very heavy and it can take a lot of time for uh, analysis. So let's revert back your model to, to the spine model. And OK. OK. And now run the analysis. Like, do not run for the truck because we have already the trucks in HL93 and run now so it's gonna take some time for the analysis but uh, right after that we will be ready for design and in, in the design I'll show you some of the features which uh, which are uh, needed for the design so we have like 140 points for the responses Displace, displacement response on the 123 okay here uh, let me tell you about their design 
design we have two parts the first part is a bridge deck itself and, and the bridge itself and the second part is the is the is the frame for example like your uh, columns and your pier cap I mean all these cap beams you have to design by some another code uh, so let's do this step by step so if you say the design so one is the bridge deck this one which is which includes bridge girders and bridge slab and the second part is these columns and this cap beam okay so now we will go to the design and here we can set the design preferences astro lrfd 2007 well, yeah we have this code and if you want to perform seismic analysis and just keep check astro and it will define the plastic hinges by itself if you want performance based mechanisms you can select all these uh, options but if you don't want if you want to define by yourself you can just go to this one but uh, i will recommend you to go for the astro and select this okay and then the second step we have to define design requests here uh, we have one request but if you want to add a new request you can go here you can yes bridge start bridge end station yeah we, you should add this request okay or you have one request already just keep this one and here you should give the load combination for which load combination you want to perform the design for example like comp one it is the same combination which we have defined or strength one strength two whatever but in all these comps we should have the required loads for example if there is some missing load we can have some problem in the in, in the program itself so let's go for the comp one which is a basic strength one limit state according to the astro this strength one it is the same okay so i just add but if you want for the any other combination design set two here you can select strength group one or strength one and in, in the same way you can add uh, the number of uh, requests the for these are the lane multiple presence factor and these factors again they are taken from the astro you can find these factors somewhere here i don't want to dig up maybe somewhere here yeah, here like for one lane it is 1.2 for two lanes it is one and for more than three lanes it is zero point so, so you can give here these are the user defined values curve to wheel distance let's keep it zero point zero six it is a safe value or if you want to be more safe zero point three eight axle width is one point eight lane width is uh three point most of the time it is uh the design is three point zero but 3.6 diaphragm present yes you want to see the diaphragms make it okay so this is uh, these are the two design requests we made and this is some already defined request so let's see okay and now we are ready to run the design to bridge and let's first there are two requests design now no load combo is specified yet so just hold down let me see what's the problem here so design uh, we should go to bridge design start uh, design uh, define design requests modify here so okay location type both bridge start and bridge and it's fine okay let me delete this one and here we don't have any load comp okay comp one i said okay and what about the, this one there is comp one okay so let me delete this one let's see if we are able to fix this problem or not start design check of structure i just run for first this one design yeah design now so it's now designing for the request one the same way you can run the design for the request two it is for the compression flexure according to this design code and so on